projects I've ever taken on. I teamed up with my dad to basically build this mini mansion for my dogs. The house that we built is literally a replica of the house I live in. the way it came out. I'm so excited to show you guys how we're gonna decorate everything. I just wanna get in there now and just go crazy and make this house super cute, livable for these little furry creatures. And this is the part I'm so excited about. It's time to bring in the little couch, the little pieces that we got at Home Goods, and really put this home together and make it feel nice and cozy. Buns, you wanna use the stairs, girl. Yes, there you go. First things first, we're gonna take on the eating area, kitchen. Yes, a kitchen, let's call it a kitchen. Let's do the kitchen first. All right guys, <laughs> oh my God, the bottom floor is like so short. So I have these little things. I have like this little treat jar, right? Which I thought was cute with this. This is like the dog food one. I'm gonna put the bigger treats in here. I have swatches on me for something, y'all. You know, like just ignore the swatches. The smaller treats. Something like that. Maybe I could put this right here. I got this cute little sign that says, let's eat. We'll just go. Ooh, doggy bowls. One on this side, maybe one on this side. Oh, girl. Ooh. I need some fresh air now. We're getting through it. We got two rooms down. The room, the actual bedroom, like they just take the bed. They don't need anything else in there because they're just going to sleep in there. Ugh. I printed out this little sign that I thought would look cute, kind of like a little walk and home sign. We don't have a frame for it, but just slapping it on the wall, I think it would look really cute right to there. Alright, last room, the living space. The sun is still out, but the lighting is a little crazy right now because the sun is setting a bit. I'm gonna put this poof right here. Yeah, right here. Tiny bit, yeah, like an inch down. That's fine. We finally got everything in. Final touches would be the foyer, uh, like the entrance. So I'm gonna try this, just to kind of try to replicate what we got. She's kinda cute. Now this is not gonna last a single minute. This is just to make it look cute. You know, once the dogs come in, it's over, girl. Let me show you inside the house. It is now fully decorated, fully furnished. Pretty much done. Most I put this here, it says wipe your paws. I thought it was a perfect doormat because you know, dogs. And I put this little fake piece of grass right here at the entrance because there's not a lot of grass in this area that we put it in. Come on in to the mini mansion. How's the lighting? Did it change? Is the trash? Yeah. chandelier which totally gets in the way so you gotta like walk around it as a human you know this little area is literally just 
the entrance. I have seen the dogs like lay right here. You know, it's just an empty spot for them to hang out. What's hilarious is that I didn't think that the windows would actually be functional and I have literally seen my dog just like chill by a window and look out the window. It is the cutest thing ever. Just look at this place. Look at this little chandelier. This chandelier, we wanted it to replicate the one inside, but obviously it's like not the same. I got this one, it's pretty small. But in this house, it just looks like the perfect size. And the fact that I could literally sit in here, like my head's not even touching, like I'm just chilling in here. And I have the whole other two sides, the bottom floor. I truly feel like this is a fun room to hang out in. If it wasn't so hot, which by the way, I'm literally going to the store. I'm gonna install one of those like portable ACs to get it nice and fresh in here so the dogs could actually enjoy more in here. And for us to hang out in here and stuff. Look at the little entrance. I tried to decorate it. The little windows, I have this. Little handsome. Which by the way, the dogs are totally gonna mess these up. They probably won't stay in here for long, but I just really wanted to decorate this place. Look at this little sign. We have butter and buns on this side. Let's head to the right wing of the house, upstairs. This side of the house, had it's like the little living space. Now I will say, uh, you know, this couch is super cute and all, and actually the kids have used it before, like Tina and Chubbs, the babies, and they love it because it's like perfect size for them, the couch. But I will say, sitting on the couch, I cannot put my head straight up. Oh my god, why is this cricket? <gasps> Oop! Look at this, me and butter on the wall. So cute! We got this little poof right here by the balcony. And I can't wait to show you guys being in here like a whole day, literally. It's so spacious, although when you're moving around, you have to crawl around. So this is a living area. Doggy beds, some toys, a few bones. Oh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Ooh, dang, it smells like peanut butter. Bonds. It's pretty spacious up in this room because there's not a lot. It's literally just the beds. I was thinking of putting some decor here. I mean, we do have the piece of art right here. But in the room, they're just going to take naps. Just a little independent moment whenever they want to be like in their own home, hanging out without the humans. I could see them napping in here, playing with their toys and everything. I've already seen them come in and play with stuff. And they, they're like thriving in here because everything is like the size for them. Now, the bottom of the stairs. So right here is a little foyer. Ooh, girl, it's already dusty in here. The dogs have been running around. I'm right under the staircase. Come on in. Right where I'm sitting at is just this empty space, and right behind me is that doggy door. On the left side and on the right side, we have the kitchen and the playroom. Let's head into the kitchen. This right here is actually a nightstand that I had that I wasn't really using right now. So I put this uh, pet food jar under and on top I put this little treats jar. We have some bones just randomly laying around. We don't have all the pet food in here because they honestly eat inside the house. This is actually just filled with snacks. This has some snacks inside right now that I just put in there for them whenever they're in here and whenever we're hanging out in here because I actually do plan to hang out in this house. Just a fun little area to chill in with the dogs, honestly. The smaller treats up here. On this side, we have like a water bowl. We have food over here, which, ooh, they totally already ate. So they've definitely been coming in here whenever they're in the yard. I'm sure they come in here and hang out. So it'd be good to fill these up soon. Hi, Squish. Oh. <laughs> Getting some pressure. No, just straighten my back out. And the last room, the playroom. I love this room.
In this last room right here, we have the playroom, which is such a cute, cozy room. We have a bunch of toys. <laughs> <laughs> we have this little cute basket of toys. We have this big teddy bear in here that was actually laying around in the house that was just kind of in the way of anything. And I didn't know what really to do with this big teddy bear. So I decided to put it in here. My dogs, I feel like all dogs just love fluffy textures. So I thought that they could have some fun with that bear and just rip it to shreds eventually, I'm sure. <laughs> this room is definitely a favorite to the dogs. I actually barely fit through here. If I was a couple inches shorter, I could walk through, but it's no big deal. So just kind of like, oop. That is the final house tour of the mini mansion. I am obsessed with this house. Again, for the million time I have mentioned this, go check out my dad's time lapse of building this from zero. He really did that. Let me know if you would like us to spend 24 hours in this house because even if you don't want it, like I'm gonna be in here. I am so excited to just hang out in here with the dogs. Please click that like button for the months of work that went into this house. Comment down below what we should name this house. Should we give it a name? Thank you for coming along this journey of the house. Love you guys and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!